right, and another cool new figure from Iron Factory. This is IFEX14M Mirrored Commander. It is a shattered glass version of their, I think, Supreme Commander is what they, Ultimate Commander is what they call the original Prime version. And it's kind of a War Within-esque Optimus slash Power Master Optimus uh, figure, God Bomber, um, Jinrai uh, piece. Here he is with all, all armored up with all of his weapons. Uh, I've got his little rifle up here, although it doesn't, his little pieces keep it from pointing straight forward. I could put it on the side. I could just take it off as well. That's his kind of standard Optimus Prime rifle there. The larger cannons here. He does also include his uh, sword, axe, polearm combo weapon and like a translucent yellow green there. Um, but we'll get to that since there's no real way to store it here. There's no tab or anything I can find to store it in vehicle mode. Unless you want to just have him like flying like a battle stand or like some sort of Mad Max vehicle. There. Um, let's leave that off to the side till we get to robot mode. And one of the things that's cool about him is, again, he's got the trailer and all the weapons here. And uh, you just untab these dark blue pieces. They pegged into the legs here. Um, and then you have a kind of base Optimus here or mirrored commander, and then the whole trailer, all the other pieces combined to form this little compact trailer, which is nice. And then on to him, here he is, just, he rolls, just a, he's, a, like I said, purple, we've seen this before, he's got the guns here, which you can remove if you wish, you can also pull these off, you're going to need to do that later, you can have even a basic, just straight up, straight up base version, and you kind of want to pull those off to transform them anyway. So yeah, purple, again, kind of a yellowy green, uh, windshield and detailing here. He's got a shattered chest plate bit. Um, not a, not quite the same purple and blue that I usually see on shattered glass. It's a little brighter, which is fine. But I do. I, I've always. I've never been a big fan of all of shattered glass. But I've, I always have kind of dug that purple and muted blue on the Optimuses that come out. So yeah, there he is. And a transformer. We'll just go ahead and pop. The arms here off of these pegs. Oh, come on, there we go. Like that, extend the legs down. Like that, slide these panel here, panels here up. Like that, flip his feet forward. Uh, untab the legs from each other. Then fold this piece up and kind of fold this whole assembly around like that and you'll see there's a gap there we'll use that in a minute but for right now we want to collapse this down like that open this up to the back um sometimes his head you, you it's possible to get this to get your fingernail in there in just such a way that you can flip this out but if you can't if you're having trouble you can you can push the whole head assembly up out from the back and that'll let you flip this up lift his head up and fold it back down into place this piece lifts up and plugs in right up here and this kind of folds down over it and that allow frees up the waist to rotate so we'll stand them up the arms come around i'm going to bring these down and rotate them around like that and again bring the arm down rotate it a full 180 there at the bicep swivel and then bring it forward and there is the base mirrored commander like that ball jointed head ball jointed shoulders to a limited degree like this, sometimes this hinge doesn't tab in as well it tabs into the wheel up here bicep swivel 90 degrees on the elbows he does have wrist swivel which is nice waist swivel ball joint hips there's a thigh swivel there just below the ball joint although it's uh difficult to get to work um decent 90 degree knees and then you got some front and back and some ankle tilt there in the feet and then you can put these guns on his back again like this if you prefer these arm guns slash smokestacks can stay on here and he can hold his regular rifle he can hold he, this you can t take the end off put it in his hand plug this back on and he's got like i said he's got that pole axe weapon or you can also un un if you unpeg this and unpeg this 
the sword from the top. He's got an ax. Put that back on the back. And then you can put this handle on the sword, and now he also has a, a nice sword. So he can have some cool energy weapons if you want him to get into melee combat. And all those work for the larger combined version as well. We're going to take you off anyway, so that's fine. Go ahead and combine this into the big pole axe for combined mode. So yeah, so to prep them for combined mode, go ahead and take the back guns off. Take these guns off. And take his feet. You want to fold them all the way back around so they're almost... They, don't, they won't fold all the way so they're pointing straight back, but you want to fold them back as far as you can. They'll, they'll, they'll kind of peg into the heel piece here. So get them ready like that, and then go ahead and take that upper torso, like I said, and extend it up so there's a little bit of a gap here in the torso. And then we come back to the trailer part. We'll go ahead and take these guns off. These can also be held as regular weapons with the pegs. And then open up a full, uh, open up these purple tab, the wings untab from the inner guns, and then from inside the inner guns, you untab it, these little tabs here on the side, untab the chest piece, fold out the combined mode head, set that off to the side. We'll come down here, we'll open up the wings, lift these up, pull off the waist piece here from the back, it just slots in right there. Um, come under here, lift this up a little bit, you can pull the arm pieces out. Uh, untab this whole assembly from these pegs go into the legs here and then pull out the smokestack shoulder pieces by the little stack there they're pegged right in there and there's all your basic pieces for the combined mode so we'll take it this is why we folded these feet in i take this piece fold it up make sure it clips into place and then there's a little peg hole peg there that pegs into the same peg it did in vehicle mode just from a different angle Again, flip this around, snap it into place, peg it onto the leg, and then we'll take the arm cannons from earlier, slash smokestacks, peg them on to the sides of the legs down here. Take the waist piece, and it's just going to just friction holds onto the waist here. So cover that up. Go ahead and bring these down if you want. Gives them a little bit more bulk, bulk in his lower body. Now, what I like to do, he's got these little pegs here where the arms peg on. This doesn't really have a place. And again, this weapon, even this weapon right here, you can fold that down. You can hold the double gun as, as a standard weapon if you want to have them have that as well. But I take these off. These also peg on to this middle piece. I'll, I'll set that to the side for now, but then I'll take these guns and I'll peg him onto his waist here, like this. And it's easier to do that now once you, before you get everything all plugged in. So plug that on and take the chest piece and it's gonna slot in. You see there's a little spine piece in there that comes up, that this steps up on. So this is gonna slide into that gap. Oh wait, before, we gotta fold his head up first. Yeah, my fault. Turn his head around, fold it down into his body like, like it was for vehicle mode. And then this just slots right into place over the chest, filling that gap and, and locking into place there. We take the arm parts, they open up with a hinge and there's a peg in there for the hand to hold. So you just it on the appropriate arm, slide it on and then have the hand grab that peg inside the armor piece and fold that panel closed. Same on the other side. Now he's got his arms. This one. I think this one clipped on all the way. There we go. Make sure it clips on all the way, or this won't close properly. So right at that point, you take the shoulder pieces, and they're just going to slot. There's a little tab up here that there's a slot in between. And a tab here, the tab here, and a slot between the two silver smokestacks. Plug these onto the shoulders. And 
and then take this piece, fold this panel down, fold these two panels down, it kind of makes a jet pack looking thing. Fold that up, and then this right here uh, fits over the tab here where the smaller gun assembly went previously. So snap that on. These can, guns can come forward over the shoulders. I do wish they sat a little lower on the arm, on the body, but then you can flip the tips out to make them long over the shoulder guns. The wings can angle up and angle back independently, however you want to have them. And then these guns, you can have them hold these weapons, although then you have like extra stuff, but you can have them hold these guns in his hands, what I like to do is there's a, there's a peg hole right here. I like to attach them back here onto the wing assemblies. Just visually, I think it looks cool. Also, this helps keep all the pieces on him. So there we go, like that. And there's the basic of it. Um, then you can give him his standard rifle in one hand. Unpeg this, give him his pole arm in the other. And this piece right here, you can plug in to his back. Uh, sometimes what I will do is I'll have these two guns plugged into his back. And when you do that, you can plug this into the side of the one of the guns and just have it sit between there. So it's not as obtrusive, but you can just plug this into the back. It's a little, if, you, if you're hem for space, it's not the most elegant solution. It's better if you have these guns on the back, but I like to attach them to the wings here. But there, so you can have everything attached um, here in vehicle mode. Also this, I mean like it, like I said, that peg hole's a little loose. We might be able to attach it there. You can plug it into the side of his gun. I don't know what purpose it would serve, but maybe it's a, you know, whatever. Please, there's places to store it if you want to. But yeah, there is Mirrored Commander, their shattered glass version. And just for size comparison, and I, I freely admit this is mostly just because I wanted an excuse to get him out. Uh, here he is with their Lord Scorpion. I, I really like Lord Scorpion. He's one of my favorite Iron Factory figures still to this day. So any excuse to grab him off the shelf. But he's nicely sized. Here he is with uh, Blue Flash. So he's, he's one of their larger figures. A lot of the Autobot cars... And smaller figures run about this size, like Tyrants, a slightly taller, Tarn maybe slightly taller, maybe roughly the same size. And then you've got figures like like Overlord's about the same size as him, and then Scorpion's a little... Lord Scorpion's one of the bigger figures they've done. Aside from the combiners like Bruticus and, and that DJD that's coming. But yeah, there he is. Uh, very cool. Uh, if you've played with any of their previous Commander releases, like they, they did a, uh, a Nemesis Prime... I should have grabbed him too, but he's actually he's in vehicle mode. I didn't want to transform him. But, um, but yeah, if you played with any of the powered you know, the commander molds that they've put out, you have an idea of what you're getting. But it looks nice in the purple and muted blue with the neon -y greenish yellow highlights. And just if you don't have a version of this figure, I, I do recommend picking him up. It's a fun little toy. Um, although, if you don't have any Iron Factory figures, get Lord Scorpion because he's so awesome. Anyway, there is Mirrored Commander from Iron Factory. And thanks for watching.